Hey Adalo makers, today we're going to be looking at using OpenAI's DAL-E to generate some uh, artificially in, uh, artificial intelligence created images just using prompts in our Adalo app. Um, and this is, uh, many of you have probably heard of OpenAI and DAL-E. Uh, they just introduced, uh, you know, opened up chat GPT fully to everyone in the last several months. Uh, so we're going to try out their API and kind of see how we can integrate this into our Adalo app. Once you're logged into uh, OpenAI's kind of dashboard here, uh, if I go up to this top right uh, area, I can, uh, or my, my account up here, I can click on view API keys. And you can see I've got two here, but I'm gonna just create a new one. And I'm just gonna copy this here. And I highly recommend like pasting that somewhere, saving it into a, a document or, or maybe like a password manager. Um, and then I'm going to go over here to Adalo. And what I'd like to do is basically allow someone to input a prompt. So I'm going to put in a form and field here, a text input. And then let's go ahead and add a button here. And this button is going to do two things. It's going to reach out with whatever prompt the person types in here. Uh, have Doll E generate an image for us and then link us to a screen where we can then view that image. All right. Um, again, there's many different ways that you can build this. You can, you know, you know, kind of imagine how you might use this in your own app or your own implementation. Uh, but the first thing that we need to do is really just go to a add a custom action here. So I'm going to go to custom action, new custom action. And we will call this uh, create AI image, all right? And the type here is just going to be a create. So hit next here. And this API base URL, uh, we will put all of this stuff in in just a second. But since I've already got my auth key copied, let's go ahead and add in a header for our authorization. And this is going to tell OpenAI that we have permission to use the, the their API, all right? So I'll just say bearer, and then I'll put that in. I always like to take out the space and then just re-add it. Sometimes the line break gets copied weird there. Um, so we can do that. I'll click this red banner to close that. And then what we can do is I'm going to go back to uh, the open AI documentation here. Go up here into the top left. And if you scroll down into this guide section, you can certainly uh, use these uh, API reference endpoints here to look at images, uh, which is the one that we'll be using today. Um, but you can also use the guides up here as well. So if you if you want like a, a walkthrough of how to do this, you can get a little bit more detail about what is happening on the back end that way. But I think for now, this, this will work good, all right? So it tells us right here that we need a post request to this endpoint here. So I'm just going to copy this URL. We'll paste it here in the base URL. Take out this, uh, this line break there. We'll use this as a post method. And then the body here, if we go back to our reference, you can see that anything after this dash D here, uh, I'm just going to copy this and not include these little apostrophes here. So we will copy this. And I'm just going to paste it right here in this JSON body. All right. So we've got uh, three different options that we're sending, right? We've got the prompt that we're going to use to generate the image. We've got n, which is a number of images to generate. And then we've got the size that we can use or the size of the image that will be returned. All right. So those are the ones that we're going to be using. Uh, by default, uh, Adalo can't really handle more than uh, one uh, object being returned by a custom action. Uh, we can't really use this in external collections because it requires a post request instead of a get. Um, so I'm just going to change this to one, one comma. And then the size here, we will make this, uh, you can make this whatever you want. Obviously, uh, 1024 is the largest size, uh, so you, you'll kind of get the best quality there. But I'm going to do 512 by 512. Um, and again, you can uh, see the different options there in the, in the documentation if you want. And then finally, this prompt. This is what we want to change, right? So I'm going to go up here and add an input here for text. We'll call this the prompt. And then we will say uh, a... Fuzzy green monster in a coffee shop. All right. 
And before we hit run test, we need to actually replace the prompt that's being sent with the magic text input that we just made. So I'm going to erase everything inside these quotes, and we're going to put in this prompt option here. Okay. And now we can actually hit this run test request. And as long as you've got some credits uh, tied to that billing account uh, or, or some demo credits here, uh, after a few seconds, it will actually generate the 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 URL and we can actually use this URL as the source of the image all right so we've got the timestamp of, of when it was created and the the URL of the image all right so let's go ahead and save this custom action here and then the um, in the actual input of the action we're going to just use the input the value of this input right here all right and once we've got that uh, the next thing that we need to do is let's go over to our database here and just create a collection called uh, maybe something like generated images or something. All right, so we'll add that. And I'm going to actually add a text property here called URL. And this is where we're going to store the URL of the image uh, that was returned. All right, so on this button here, let's go to add another action. We'll create a generated image and we will put the URL that was returned in this custom action right here, all right? So we'll go to create AI image and then choose this data URL property, all right? So we've got this uh, input, we've got a button. The button is going to reach out to OpenAI, generate an image, and then we're gonna create a generated image and save that URL. And then we need to actually link to a screen where we can maybe view uh, view that image, right? So I'm going to just choose this app bar kind of blank template here. And let's drag in maybe like an image component here. Okay. And let's make this uh, kind of be, we'll make the, the width kind of the same, 210 here. Kind of sh straighten this up, put it in the center. All right. And the image source here is just going to be the current generated images uh, we're actually going to use the URL uh, property here. I always forget to do that. URL. And then we're going to go to the current generated images URL, all right, which is what we've saved. So let's let's give this a, a quick test here. So we'll go up to preview. And let's type in some text here. We'll call this uh, uh, a giant crab surfing in Hawaii, right? And we'll see what happens here. So it's going to take it a second link, and there's our created image uh, that it's got. So that's how you can use the Doll E uh, Open API or Open AI API to generate these images for your apps. Um, and you can use these, you know, for uh, like placeholder images or whatever it is that you want to 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 use in your apps.